All right, what's up? Today's first day of Hack MIT, MIT's hackathon. I'm not attending in person because I'm in Georgia Tech and I can't fly over and they have like COVID restrictions. So I'm doing it online. Originally planned on doing it from my dorm room, but apparently the Wi-Fi in my building has gone out. So I had to leave the dorm room and then come to this area called the GT Connector. It's my roommate is walking around right there. And I'm gonna go do hackathon check-in right now. Then I'll eat breakfast and then I'll walk you guys through what my project idea is and get to work. So it's 11, 10 a.m. Hackathon has technically started. I haven't written any code yet, but here's my idea. Basically, you have like Zoom class recordings, YouTube videos, other lecture recordings that you wanna get through really quickly, but you don't know how to. And you know, maybe it'd be helpful if something could automatically summarize those lectures for you and then turn them into bullet points and flashcards. And essentially, I'm gonna try and build that a web app where you upload like your recordings or you put a link to a YouTube video, it'll convert it to like a text summary, convert that text summary into bullet points and flashcards, and then you can export those to Anki or Quizlet, and then you can work on them. So <clears throat> my room still has no Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna have to work in the library for the remainder of the day, and I'm gonna get to work now, and I will see you guys in the next update. Spent an hour setting up the Flask backend and setting up like the React front end, making sure it all works together, setting up the GitHub repository, picking a text summarizer library, seeing how that works. And it's 12.15 p.m. I'm gonna spend another hour working on the project before I go have lunch. I think what I'm gonna do is set up the basic UI for the app um, and make sure that you know you can upload text for now and then send that to the Flask API and then the Flask API will spit out the summary. And then I'm going to eventually change that over time to sending a link to a video or uploading a video. And then the video gets summarized on the back end and the API. And then you get the summary as you're uh, on the screen as part of your front end served from the API again. Get back to work and I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, brief update. I spent an hour, um, again, trying to fix my React packages because things weren't working and the component libraries that I were using weren't styling the things properly. And now I actually have like the style set up, but I still haven't hooked it up to the API because I keep getting distracted by our Berlin, the Masters Berlin tournament that's happening. Unlucky timing that is happening the same week uh, that Hack MIT is, but you know, I've gotten some stuff done. I have a pretty ugly issue up, you know, this is where people will input their text so far, and that's where the text will pop out. I think that I should probably be able to hook this up with the API and make it look prettier by, at max, 3 p.m. It's 1.30 right now, and then people can summarize text from there. After that, what I'll do is make sure that I can get it to upload videos and get stuff from YouTube videos to automatically summarize those. And then we're looking pretty good to finish this project sometime by midnight. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. I just finished my first half of the workday. I finished the text summarizer and connecting that to GPTJ and getting it to make flashcards. I went to the dining hall to get food. They said that they didn't have any plates, so they gave me a takeout box. Here's the food in the takeout box. It's honestly pretty nice. And now I'm just gonna eat, listen to these two fools talk, and then I'm gonna go back to working on the project, adding some finishing touches, linking up, and also linking it up to YouTube, making it look pretty and everything getting it ready for deployment because I don't really want to work on it tomorrow morning because it's due at 11 a.m. And then I will be done with the project, have a good weekend, and then study for my physics quiz that I have on Monday that I haven't started studying for. So, fun times. Yeah, B-roll. You get to be in, you get to be in the B-roll. Yasha, you get to be in the B-roll. All right, we're back in the room. Uh, just came back from the dining hall again because I went with my friends when they got dinner and I had some ice cream instead of actual food because I already had real dinner. But anyways, I came back to my room. Turns out the Wi-Fi is actually working here now, which is awesome because I can use my... And what I'm using it for is to have an Elliot Choi vlog up while I write code. 
Coding is coming along pretty well, actually. I made it so that if you input in text, it'll summarize it. And now I've gotten it to where you can actually generate questions from the summary so that you have some flashcards to study from. Now I just need to make it so that you can upload a Zoom video or a link to a YouTube video. It'll transcribe it, make a summary, and then you get flashcards that you can import into Anki or Quizlet. And then bada bing, bada boom, you are done. And my project is done. And I hopefully have a good shot at having something nice to put on my resume. Uh, I'll show an actual demo of the project as soon as I'm done. I have to go at like 10.30 to one of the rooms in the library because my friends and I are watching a K-drama called Startup. Um, and I will be working on the project while I'm watching that. And I'll take you guys with me when I go there. See you in a bit. Here's a quick demo of the application as it currently is before I go on to adding the part where you can export the flashcards to some other service. So here's what it looks like right now. It's pretty ugly. This is where your input text, this is where your summary comes out and that's where the flashcards are. So let's copy paste the stuff from Napoleon's Wikipedia page because maybe you want to learn about Napoleon, right? So let's paste it in here and we're going to generate the summary and it's going to end up loading here. I have to add a loading sign, but it is loading right now. If you look at the back end, boom, right? We get a little summary of the first few paragraphs of Napoleon's Wikipedia page. And if we click generate flashcards, it'll show up here. Again, I have to add like a waiting page or something. But again, if you look here, we see that it's actually making the flashcards. And, you know, after a little while, you get to see some epic flashcards like when in Prussia and Austria joined Russia in a sixth coalition against France, 1850. See, now this might not be right, but I'm not sure. What power did Egypt serve as a spring war to? Political power, how long did the Peninsula War last? Six years. So it's not accurate 100% of the time, but you know, it's pretty cool and people can always edit these flashcards to make themselves see, uh, to make it better for themselves. Now what I wanna do is add Anki support to the flashcards. Um, and Quizzle support. So basically you can export it from the format that it is there on the web app to Anki or Quizlet and then use them how you would normally use them and you know, do your space repetition, your studying, whatever. And that is how I plan on using it. I also have to add in Zoom and video support because that's kind of like the main basis of this app. Otherwise it's kind of a little bit boring. Uh, some of my friends are coming over at 10.30, so in about an hour to like watch a show um, because we were originally gonna watch it in the library, but that the library was full, so we couldn't do that. Anyways, they're gonna be coming over here. I'll see you guys then. Uh, probably, but I can't sleep for a while now. I'm gonna go to sleep after I finish my project, um, which will probably take like two hours. So I'll end up going to sleep at like, what time is it right now? 12.43. So I'll probably go to sleep at like 3 a.m. and then wake up at like 11 a.m. when submissions are due. Uh, I'll have hopefully submitted by then. And I will see you guys after I'm done with the project. Um, and I'll let you know how it went and show you a little bit of a demo. Okay, it is 9.53 a.m. on the 11th. I have not filmed my video yet because at like 3 a.m., the power went out, not the power went out, the Wi-Fi went out again. So I couldn't come here obviously to film the video. So I woke up this morning. I wanted to wake up a lot earlier, not an hour before the deadline, but I woke up on time. I'm here in the GT connector and now I'm gonna film my like project video, submission video, submit the project and then go get ready for the rest of the day. I'll see you guys in the next bit. I just finished recording like my project demo video, uh, uploaded it to YouTube, now it's processing and I will send the link in on the project submission page. Hit submit and then I'll be done and I can go get ready for the rest of the day um, because I think I have project expo at like tw from 12 to two, I don't know when. Uh, so I'll have to get ready pretty quickly to do that and then come back here because the Wi-Fi in my room will still not be working, which is awesome. Um, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for staking up till here and I'll let you know what happens with the project and I'll also leave a link to my project demo video uh, in the description down below. It's not public on my YouTube channel, it's an unlisted video. You guys can go watch it, it's pretty cool. Um, see you in the next one. All right, it's 12.22, I just got showered, ready, and all that blah, 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 blah. I have to do my demo at 12.40, which is in 18 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is take my laundry, go put in the go put it in the wash, then go to GT Connector, sit down, get set up for the project demo. Hopefully I find a seat there. And then I'll report back to you guys after it ends at 12.48. Then I'll go get lunch, finish up my laundry, and then just spend the rest of the day um, doing my normal schoolwork and end the vlog there. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, I just finished the demo. I'm in the connector. 
with studying physics mostly. I don't know what he's doing, but studying physics. Um, just finished the presentation. The presentation went by pretty well. Uh, we're gonna go get lunch. I don't think I'll win anything because again, not that great of a project, but hopefully it looks good on my resume. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go eat, then finish my laundry, study for physics, and then finish out the day. But this is probably the last clip you guys will see of me, unless I win, uh, in which case, see ya. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button.